Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. We're starting the final case of Justice for All now. Farewell, my turnabout. This is the best case in Justice for All, so look forward to this. <laughs> uh, it's kind of long. Uh, you'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's get going. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Who will be this year's Grand Prix Champion? Who will be our Hero of Heroes? Woo! Will it be last year's runner-up, Jammin' Ninja? Maybe Captain Saipan, all the way from the lovely tropical island of Saipan? Students of a certain starry school are raring to win, and global hero Onyakapon doesn't want to go home without the prize? We hope Lady Luck is with all our heroes tonight! This is so fast. And now, the winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes Grand Prix is me! It's the moon, the moon one. Oh no, it's you. Whoa! The true hero of the night has appeared in our midst. It looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to this fantastic warrior. The Nickel Samurai. Too bad, Jammin' Ninja. Looks like the title eluded you again this year. Yeah, that was all completely automated. I couldn't change the playback speed. So I couldn't keep up with the text, which is annoying. Anyway, the Nickel Samurai is a character now. You might remember the Steel Samurai from the first game. Yeah, they're, they're related characters. <laughs> March 20th, 7.42pm. Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. You probably remember this hotel from the first game as well. All oh, right, yes, did you hear that, Nick? Did you? The Nickel Samurai, he did it! Yeah, he sure did. I'm getting too old for this. Uh, I'm proud of the guy for doing the series justice. Uh, um, so the person everyone was cheering for... I guess he got the prize? Yup. You know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai. No, every Sunday I only watch the educational channel's Kids Masterpiece Theatre. So she knows that the Nickel Samurai is a TV show, because otherwise she wouldn't be able to say that in response. That hadn't occurred to me before. I've played this case a bunch of times and that's weird. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it. Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Nah, Nick's an old fart, so he isn't allowed to watch it anymore. That's right, but I do like Kids Masterpiece Theatre. Hey, I didn't know you were so young at heart, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're a grown-up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interests that match. It's very important. Oh, give it a rest, Pearly. Looks like I made the right choice in inviting everyone here. I forget what voice I gave powers. I'm just gonna walk, talk normally. <laughs> I'm glad you're all having a good time. Ah, it's like a dream. Too bad for the Jam and Ninja though. Last year he lost to the Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Oldie Tokyo. I thought this might be his year. Yeah. Oh, hey, did anyone else think that the Jam and Ninja looked a bit different today? Different? What do you mean? Um, well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar. Hey, you're right. Strange he'd walk around without his signature guitar. <sighs> I will never understand these people and their shows. Anyway, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. Well, <laughs> it was nothing. I owe you one, so it's just my way of saying thanks. Hey Nick, come on. It's time to get going to the lobby. There's a post-ceremony stage show that's supposed to start real soon. And then I heard there's going to be a press conference after that. A press conference? Is he going to make a speech about winning this year's prize? Uh, well, not exactly. Something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something? Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Ugh, Nick, come on! You don't want us to be the last ones there, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick, do you? Why me? The show doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. Okay, so obviously the case hasn't really started yet, but 
we've got a basic idea of where, where we're going, sort of. Just gonna talk to people a bit. Thank you very much for inviting us today. Oh, it's nothing, really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often, so I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers, what have you been up to lately? Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month, I've been on a kid's exercise show. While wearing a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about all the headache I caused you that time, Mr. Wright. Oh, well, what's done is done, so let's forget about it. This is Will Powers. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was the Steel Samurai. He was the first case Maya worked on with me. It's too bad you look scary and people would know you're a real softie who's good with kids. Um, thanks. Does he really look scary? He looks friendly to me. I don't- I don't understand why people think he's scary. Is it the hair? Maybe? I can't believe they're gonna make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. I can't believe it either, but for a different reason! <laughs> Cute. The Steel Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch nemesis, the evil magistrate, in the city of near Oldie, Tokyo. And last year they started a new series, the Nickel Samurai. The new series seems to be a hit with the kids, too. I'm really attached to the Steel Samurai as a show. So I was hoping that maybe I'd get the chance to do something in this new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It'd been awesome to see you with that with the new actor. It it would have been awesome. He, his powers is not in the show. He's not in the show with Madame Guard, so I'm not sure what mine's talking about. I assume she means it would have been awesome. It would have been awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt on guard. He's super popular right now. Mr. Ungard? Uh, is, is, it, is it Ungard? Or oh, Ungard? I assume it's Ungard. Mr. Ungard? Looks like Pearls doesn't know who he is. This year it's going to be the Nickel Samurai versus the Jam and Ninja at the box office. Jam and Ninja? Who's that again? So who is this Jammin' Ninja again? He's a hero, duh! His symbol is the bright red guitar he's always carrying. A ninja who's always carrying around a bright red guitar? How does that even work? With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star? Yeah, a ninja who becomes a star! God, he's cute. <laughs> There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios Nickel Samurai and Worldwide Studios Jam and Ninja. They even air at the same time. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get along at all. The Nickel Samurai is on guard and the guy who plays the Jam and Ninja, I mean. The Nickel Samurai speaks French? Oh, you mean Matt on guard, the actor. Phoenix. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess even the world of heroes isn't a sparkling happy place. Y yeah. Okay, so we're done talking about that. Oh, we're in a hallway now. <sighs> March 20th, Gatewater Hotel. Hallway. Wow, what is with this place? Looks like I've stumbled into Oz or something. Way in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit it while I can before the show starts. Ah, the two genders. Square person and trapezoidal person. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sounds like the post-ceremony show is just about- is about to start. Oh right! I'm so pumped! I wonder if he's gonna show off his special move today. Nickel Samurai Smelting! Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. You mean the big confession the Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So, what is it? Don't you know what it's about, Mr. Powers? Uh, well, I'm not still Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. Uh... Sorry. Oh, so I guess you're all going to the press conference then? Yeah, of course! 
If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Press conference ticket added to the court record. Yeah, that's going to be important. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, let's go into the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Okay, the great justice. Surely we already know where the lobby is because we came in through it. We wouldn't need Pearl to tell us, but maybe, maybe we did. I don't know. How did we get into this part of the hotel without going through the lobby is my question. March 20th, Gatewater Hotel, Hotel Lobby. The hotel looks like completely different in this case than it did when we visited it previously, which is interesting. <laughs> hmm, only a really gaudy hotel would have such, have such a large gaudy lobby to match. Ah, I think they're going to have the post ceremony show over there. They're using a compact stage, I see. Oh, that's Phoenix. They're using a compact stage, I see. Ooh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power. Mine looks like she's ready to start a fight. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai's post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. What? Why? Ow! You didn't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. A cab. <gasps> police? Did they just say the police? Roxanne. <laughs> Do you want me to go check out what's going on? Um, wait, I'll come with you. Someone says freeze, but I don't know who. Is it Detective Gumshoe? Maybe. Freeze. You too. Didn't you hear the announcement just now? Just finished telling you not to move. That voice. Oh, I think it's someone else. I've heard that voice somewhere before. Honestly, youth these days can't be bothered to listen to other people when they talk. Just the other day, it was the same thing. There was a small footbridge of signs that said, Where a bridge out, along comes a snot nose point kid, right up to the bridge. I tried to tell the boy the bridge was out and was dangerous, but would he listen? No, of course not. You need to be careful when you walk on the in part of the bridge, the out part was what was dangerous. I am not kidding you here. The kid said that and really meant it. Well, I don't think I'm having him clear off that bridge. Honestly, the kid says there's no right from wrong, I told you. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> this non stop chatter. It, it can't be. Miss Oldbag? What is it, you young whippersnappers? Do I know you? Wait, you! Your powers, aren't you? Y yeah, um, about what happened back then. You didn't even get nominated this year, did you? Oh, that's right. You're doing that children's exercise program, trying to play nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. Just thankfully, I still have a job. I love that show, and you're a hoot. You're the big brother character, right? Yes, even with your face covered by a mask. I know, you're a giant rabbit. What a work of art. That's how it is, you know? I mean, if you didn't wear the mask, who knows how many TVs you'd break? Really, and Shaman's because exercising around you. You know what they deserve. This is why I thought you shouldn't be anywhere. <gasps> um, what are you doing here? Look at my uniform and tell me you can't tell I'm a member of security. But that outfit... Annoying nosy brats get the blaster. Right, a tap, 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 tap. So, yeah, um... Wendy's got the circus music for some reason. She, she didn't have that in the first game because I guess they hadn't written it yet, but it doesn't really fit her character anyway. I don't know why they gave her this music. This old bag, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Oh, that old place. Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When they cut the security team, I got the pink slip. What incident? What did you do? I didn't do anything, you youngin. Don't you remember? That incident a year ago. When this lady got on the witness stand and testified. Y yeah And you! Weren't you the one who was bullying me, this fragile girl at heart? Uh... I played the fifth. The fifth. You, you can't... You can't play the fifth. It's not... It's not how it works. You have to take the fifth. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> But, you know, I think maybe I, you know, I think maybe I rubbed the upper management the wrong way by testifying. Yes, that has to be it. Everything is all your fault. M me I thought about being a bodyguard at first after being handed old Pinky. You, 
you a bodyguard? Your friend, that fiery, good-looking guy with the red jacket and the ruffles. M Mr. Edge was? But... That sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What do I ever do to deserve that? Right a tap 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 Um, so did something happen? I don't have all the details. But it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. A an incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe. I'm saying I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, showers of blood are sure to follow. Bet you didn't know that. Um, then shouldn't you quit being a security guard, at least for other people's sake? Silence, whippersnapper! rat a tat 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 Hey Nick. What is it? I don't like that devilish smile playing on your lips. Let's make like we're going to the bathroom and check things out. N no way. The police told us not to go in not to go anywhere, remember? <sighs> Be gay, do crimes, Phoenix. Be gay, do crimes. Huh? How B-O-R-I-N-G! <laughs> You're such a boring guy, you've got no motivation, no spirit! Huh? What? What's going on? Are you getting Mystic Mayor trouble again, Mr. Nick? Not you true pearls. Please don't stick your little nose into this one. So listen to this, Pearly. This one time at lawyer camp, Nick... Uh, okay, I get it. Let's go take a look. What did he do at lawyer camp? I know that's a reference to American Pie, but I have no idea what she was going to say. <laughs> hmm. Yay! I knew you couldn't say no to me, Nick. That's right. You'd walk over miles of hot coals for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would be every time we were a case together. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already. You can come along too, Pearly. Goody, I get to come. I get to come. So yeah, we're just gonna ignore the police and go do some crimes. Here we go. March 20, Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the incident that the old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we better go look somewhere else. Alright, then let's try... Excuse me. Ack! Are you by chance, Ms. Maya Fay? Um, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A uh, call? I wonder if it's someone from Curane Village. What's wrong, Mystic Maya? Oh, nothing. You guys go on ahead and I'll be right there, okay? Okay. Right this way, Ms. Fay. Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting and a little scary. To the hallway, the hallway. It's March 20th at the Gatewater Hotel in the hallway. <laughs> I forget whose voice this should be. I think it's Lotta. I think it's Lotta. I told you. I get people the info they want, which means that I've got a right to know. Mm, nope. Don't care who you are, pal. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. What's your problem? Just you wait. I'll be all over the morning paper. Scruffy detective secret scandal revealed. You'll see. I'll get you back. Those two sound pretty serious. That southern accent can only mean... There's only one person in the world with a southern accent. Did you know that? Hey, rat. Hey, Lotta. Come on, do a gal a favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job and I've got rats. Lotta said hey, cab. <laughs> ah, you. Oops. Uh, Detective Gumshoe? Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell her the police are allowed here. This is the scene of a murder, so she should leave this to us pros. Uh, a murder? Oh shoot, me and my big mouth. See, I knew it, my gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut, a murder it said, and that's what it is, a genuine murder. H hey, wait. 
Yeehaw! A murder of a big star, no less. Oh man, I'm in trouble now. So, did you give Gumshoe a murder? Uh, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Uh, um, Mr. Nick? Is the dead person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Mystic Mai was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one I had a suspicion of doing the bumping off. What? The guy that died was this hero named the Jammin Ninja, pal. The Jammin Ninja? Um, that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy? You mean Lotta? That woman, she was there that time too, right? That time? When Mystic Maya did that channeling. Oh, that time. Well, Lotta's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Journalist. Looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah, hiding in wait in front of the Jam Ninja's door, pal. B but why would she... She wouldn't tell me, pal. Just said something about getting my big scoop. Scoop? What sort of news could she be after? So the victim was the Jammin' Ninja? Mr. Jammin' Ninja? He was on a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh! The victim was the action star, Juan Corrida. Corridor? Juan Corridor. I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> Juan Corridor, I'll go with that. He got a huge push and rode the express train to stardom. I mean, even I know who he is. Yeah, even I recognise his face. But I heard lately that Matt guard has been taking the wind out of his sail. I'm telling you, pal, as far as who's popular, those two are hogging all the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all, huh? Poor guy. Mr. Ongard, um, that's the Nickel Samurai, right? Yup. I mean, no, you gotta say it with more oomph. The Nickel Samurai. Anyway, so now that Jun Juan Corridor's gone, that means Mr. Ongard has the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't bet on it, pal. We can't have that happen, you know? Can't have that happen? What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? Um, I think I just want to go back to the lobby now. Nope, nope, I have to do something with, with, with Gumshoe. I think I need to ask him about something, but I forget what. Maybe this? To take a look at this for me. Listen, pal. I'm not leaking any info about the evidence to you this time. If I do, my salary's really gonna get it. And then I won't even be able to get those instant noodles out of the discount market. Okay, I'll ask him about, uh... Mad on guard? The Nickel Samurai. He really hooked a Grand Prix tonight. Mai's a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? Mad on guard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murdering Juan Corridor. Corridor? I think it's Corridor. I can't, I, I don't know, they just beep, so I can't tell. What? Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another Steel Samurai hero is in hot water. Um, Mr. Nick, if Mystic Maya knew about this... Yeah, I know. She'd make me take this case. I know. Uh, I think that's all I need- the information I needed. No... maybe. Hang on. Yes. Okay. March 20th. Gatewater Hotel. Hotel Lobby. Hey, so what's going on, Mr. Wright? It looks like Juan Corridor has been killed. W what Juan is... he's... It looks like he was murdered, and a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt on guard. Y you're joking, right? Nope. They arrested the Nickel Samurai on suspicion of murdering the Jamming Ninja. Ugh, oh, not again. I feel sick. Again? A 
about a year ago, something just like this happened, Pearls. I still can't believe. No way. No way, Matt would. What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Oh, before I forget, this this is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. Radio transceiver received from Mr. Powers. Trans rights. <laughs> for me? But why? I don't know. All he said was that it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but he kept adding fuel to the fire of his rival with Jean anyway. Mr. Juan. Oh, Mr. Juan! He's the jamming ninja, right? Those two would butt heads over everything they could think of. But I'd say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. Juan said that he'd take Matt on this time too, so he joined a rival TV show. And that was the jamming ninja? The stylish Nickel Samurai and the burning jamming ninja. Well, things turned out messy real fast for those two using their shows for their war. And the final tally? Look around, it's pretty obvious how things ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. Mr. Ungar was going to hold a press conf conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai's? Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. It was going to be in costume? But why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. Now that she mentions it, Maya was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost? I'll take a quick look around for her. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Ack. W what is it, Mr. Nick? Huh? I, I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. Beep. Y yes, hello? Right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright? The attorney? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with. Such as... Help! Nick! M Mystic Maya? Maya? So, Mr. Wright, wouldn't you agree that the more important issue is the fate of the girl? Her fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. This... No! This can't be! Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return to you your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? K kidnapping for ransom. Yes. That's it. This is a kidnapping. Ah! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! M my sight! Everything's fading away! Maya! Maya! Maya's been kidnapped! Are you there? Mr. Attorney, are you there? How much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and state your condition, and then return Maya. Money is not what I seek. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to need? I am not the person you will be rep representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. Juan Corridor was killed, and the suspect is Matt on guard. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Matt on guard. M Matt on guard? But why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However. H however? However what? 
However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone, who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, can I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to take me at my word or not. However, there is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is with me, in my possession. Help! Nick! Maya! You have two days. Of course, tonight, you will be in questioning with the police. But the trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Attorney. W one? You expect me to get a not guilty in one trial day? Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you, so don't let me down. Ugh. Oh yes, that's right. Now that I am playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say, and don't even think about calling the cops. Hmm. Not great, but you get the idea. Damn it! Who... Who the hell are you? Very well. I'll tell you that much. My name is... The Killer. Beep. Mr. Nick! Where, where is Mystic Maya? She's been kidnapped. No! It's all my fault! If only I'd gone with Mystic Maya! It's not your fault, Pearls. But it is, it is! Mystic Maya! <laughs> Mr. Wright, I think we... I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If we do, who knows what will happen to Maya. Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe? Yes, that's it. Wait here and I'll be right back. Alright, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. What? Ransom? Shh! Not so loud! The ransom is complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Wait, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya? You mean... Then this means Matt on guard is obviously the killer, pal, no doubt about it. But the guy said that Matt Mr. On guard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. On guard really is in if On guard really is innocent, then why the kidnapping? But for everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensics team's having a field day back there. Um... But it's strange, there's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence? Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about On guard being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Alright. Isn't there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. You're right. Date. Question, question, question. Time. Question, question, question. Location. Question, question, question. I guess I should pronounce it like date. Unknown. Time. Unknown. Location. Unknown. <laughs> Ow, my head. Where... where am I? I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. What happened to me? Nick? Polly? Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. Can I click? I see you have awoken. Ah! Who are you? Me? I am known as the killer. The, the killer? You mean like an assassin? I I'm too young to die. Don't worry. You are not my target. For now, anyway. Ah! Uh, Nick! Nick! Where are you? Help me! Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now, and that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Huh? What? Nick? Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. A... a business transaction? I am going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your assigned ro role well. 
Nick. What's going to happen to me? Nick. Polly. Sis. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as... March 21st, 8.11am, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Good morning. Ah, oh, morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, come on. Let's hurry and go see Mr. Ongard. You have to wait a bit, Pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9am, so... Oh, I see. Oh, Mystic Maya, if only... If only I'd gone with you. Poor Pearls. She's been like this since the last night. He managed to get home somehow yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl's got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya, she's alright, right? Yes, she's alright. Either way, I'm gonna save her. You can trust me on that. Please, please, help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected because Pearl's is doing the crying for the both of us. Oh, baby. March 21st, 8.57am, Detention Centre, Visitor's Room. We couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one Nickel Samurai, charged with the murder of the Jammin Ninja. Good morning, how are you today? How are you today? I know the situation might be a little tough for you. Um, where... Oh. Sorry, dude. I already signed up. Uh, excuse me? I already have life insurance. I hung up a long time ago because my job is, you know. Oh, no, no, no. We're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Fire extinguishers. I mean, this building isn't my house, so... No, no, no. We're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? M Mr. Nick, this is our chance! I have to make him let me take his case. I have to! Mr. Ongard, I would like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid as a side job, dude? Um, um, well if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, 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 I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? Is he alright, Mr. Nick? If we're talking about Mr. Ongard's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president said, Even Neo Mount Fuji himself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, Mr. Nick, what's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain in the city of New Oldie, Tokyo, the city the Nickel Samurai protects. Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Uh, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography is coming out soon, so... If I say stuff without the publisher's approval, I'm gonna be in real hot water. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my publisher, okay? Mr. Ongard is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Um, I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? I think we need to show him something. Uh, the radio maybe? Mr. Nick, what are you gonna do with that? I don't know yet, but I figured I could at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one too. 
I got it as a present from someone. Hmm? Interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. It's coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. Uh... What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You were going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes, while you were in costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. You didn't know? That's odd. Well, dude. I think it's about time for me to get going. Please, wait! I really need to take your case. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Can we introduce you to a few? Please, please let, Mr. Please let Mr. Nick represent you. Man, oh man, lawyers these days. Now you do choose kids to bullying clients too? If you don't take me as a lawyer, then the killer is going to... Wait, what did you just say? To kill her. To, to kill her. What's he doing? Looks like he's mulling something over. Alright, dude. I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it, and he doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help out as much as I can. Man, I think my lucky stars of people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Ah, oh, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep on getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. I guess Mr. Ogai has a way of catching the eyes of women. Um, that's a little bit of an assumption that, that high schoolers and secretaries are all women, but okay. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post-ceremony stage show to do, so I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the whole the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude, I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange, I thought the Nickel Samurai was gonna confess something? Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Cor Corridor was already dead at that time. It was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Corridor, what sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wanted to try to make a Jam and Ninja movie, even though we all know it'd fail. The Nickel Samurai still won the end, right? Yeah, I hit the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you'd think it'd be the other way around, you know? Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly? Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja's costume. A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants, or Hakama. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planned it there though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess this is about all I'm gonna get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. 
Let's test Mr. Ongard to see if he really is innocent or not. We can do that? Yes. If you use this. Why is Magatama? You won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. Ongard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Corridor? Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. Alright, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corridor, okay? Well, Mr. Nick? Oops, well, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or lock inside. Which means... It's right to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. To be continued. Okay, so we're actually going to investigate in the next part. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a bit of a basic idea about the case. We haven't met everyone yet, so you're not going to be able to draw too many conclusions, but... We're getting started. Anyway, yeah, next time we'll lose the word investigation, and then we can start the trial, and then it continues from there. Cool, cool, cool. Um, bye!